Hello ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing? Hope you're doing fine. I'm doing great. My name is Chuffs and be welcome to this brand new version of my voice over recording setup. Things have changed quite a ton from the last video, so you will be surprised. Now, before starting, I want to warn you, this is not your typical home studio. This is not in my home. This is in an office and it's expensive. This is not the thing you will acquire when starting. So this is a more, this is a fully professional studio now. From someone who has been working for some years now, has been able to earn some bucks and spend them all in something like this. So with that said, let's get started on showing you the thing. Now, before continuing, sorry for my English, I'm not a native English, I work mainly in Spanish or if they need uh, an English script with Spanish accent, which is pretty prevalent in my voice, then I do such things, but, you know, not my native language, I suck. Speaking English. So let's get started, let's see. What do we have here? Firstly, not a lot of space to show you all in one shot, but we'll go, we'll go, we'll go, uh, you know, little by little. Uh, so first thing first, the computer, it is uh, that Mac Mini we've got there, which is uh, plugged in with a lot of cables to inside the box, the uh, sound booth, sorry. So first things first, HDMI, which goes to that screen over there, whoa, that screen over there, and then a USB to VGA adapter that goes to this screen here, and a USB hub, that's this one here that connects both the keyboard and the mouse. Now, uh, microphone. Neumann TLM 103. Pretty nice microphone for vocals. Sounds pretty good with my voice, although if I had a, uh, I think a lower tone could be even better. But either way, awesome, awesome, awesome microphone. I'm pretty happy with it. And the only upgrade I could think about it is, you know, the, the U, U87, but that, that will come in later. Uh, preamp, Avalon M5 uh, preamp, beautiful sound, crystal clear, outstanding experience. I don't think it can go better than this. So I, I really don't plan on upgrading any of those parts anytime soon. And then on the interface part, we've got an Apollo Twin, which goes to the computer via this um, Thunderbolt cable. So on the monitor part, speakers part, I've got these uh, PreSonus Aries E5s, I think those are, which, uh, you know, uh, these are the, 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 the worst part of the chain, of the sound chain, of course, but I wanted to be able to record the best quality I could. Uh, you know, the hearing experience doesn't have to be that awesome. Either way, I, I don't usually fine tune to the end my voice is my voiceover so the final client usually uh, does some more uh, uh, polishing on those so um, you know being able to hear precisely what's sounding that's not as important on my chain as it could be on others so that's pretty much the sound chain got to admit though that the ad's uh, ad's da's here are pretty nice uh, they're pretty 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 top notch and that this thing here this thing here is outstanding this thing here it's brilliant and, uh, you know, one of the questions that you may have watching this video is why do you have a standing up setup? I mean, why do you work while standing up? Why don't you have a chair, a table, something like that? And that's because I'm a voice actor. Not only a voice talent, not only a voice artist. And the most important thing about voice acting is acting. And you cannot have full control of your body, which is necessary for proper acting, if you're not standing up. And that's something you'll see on every major voice acting or movie dubbing studio you'll see, at least here in Spain, because I'm, 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 I'm a professional movie dubber here in Spain. I dub movies from Sicario to Nine Lives uh, with Barry Soren, Sorenfields, Nine Lives, I think. Well, Nine Lives with uh, Kevin Spacey. I did a couple of voices over there. So you'll never, never, ever see a guy working, dubbing a movie, sitting down. And that's something I can tell you is absolutely mandatory because differences are huge. It's like cutting half of your body. If you sit down, you're cutting half of your body, you lose control of your diaphragm. I think that's how it's called in English. In Spanish, it's diaphragma. And so you lose a ton, ton of control. And that's pretty much the reason. That's pretty much the reason. Now, if I work, if I'm working, I usually uh, shut these lights off and have this little light over here which shows me the script and then the screen so that I can concentrate on what's really important here, which is the face of that guy in this example. 
and the script here. As you can see, this is this is what I used to practice. I, I practice from time to time, you know, just to keep fresh. And uh, I use this uh, guy here because it's got a pretty similar tone to what to the one I have. So uh, I fit my voice fits pretty well with his acting and face and stuff. So I'm gonna show you a little demo now of what can be recorded over here. I have to warn you though, this box. Sorry, box. <laughs> this uh, uh, sound booth here. It is a Dem Dembox Eco 250. Uh, sounds great. No reverb, no eco whatsoever, but it does have that tiny little bit boxy sound that you can kind of appreciate when you're using some headphones that have a bit more bass than what's usual. So that's something to keep in mind in case you're, you're, you're thinking about getting something uh, like this. And I also have to, to warn you that if you will uh, spend as much money as I did on this, you might want to consider getting something even bigger. Even bigger! Why? Because you uh, lose that boxy, boxy feel to the voice. I have to tell you, it's minimum. I mean, it's minimal. Sound quality is outstanding. It, it matches pretty much every pro studio you'll find over here. But then again, if you will spend the money, you want to go for the best. Sí, la tesis metomana. Lo más probable es que estos seres excepcionales vivan entre nosotros. La base de nuestros mitos, dioses que viven entre hombres en nuestro pequeñito planeta azul. No hay que usar una bala de plata. Pero si se fabrica una, no tendremos que depender de la benevolencia de los monstruos. Hemos creado y apoyado con evidencias un sistema de pruebas con un enfoque práctico, basado en la ciencia y en la evaluación. I could try, I mean, I could, you know, get closer to the microphone, that would lose, or that would help you lose uh, the, the, that effect. But then again, we always work like this professionally, which is microphone, and then the, you know, the place where the script stands. Um, I don't know how that's called in English, I have to admit though. Uh, I have to admit that. So that's the video. If you have any question or want to ask something, whatever it is, just drop it on the comment section below and I will try to answer it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on the next one if I do upload the next one because this channel is pretty much abandoned. I use a Spanish, a Spanish channel which has grown quite a bit more than this one, but whatever. Um, so yeah, see you later. Peace.